Well, in this week's Sauce Bon, dessert is on the menu. We're showing you how to make chocolate mousse. Abby Breidenbach is live at Vermilionville with everything you need to know. Good morning, Acadiana. We are back at Vermilionville with Chef Marcus this morning, and we are on to step two of our chocolate mousse. So before we left, we mixed in the chocolate mm -hmm. into our eggs and sugar. And then we added uh, two tablespoons of heavy cream and a pinch of salt. Don't add too much salt, otherwise it's going to taste kind of weird. So just okay. do a small pinch. Um, and we made we that well together. Uh, the next step is going to be making the whipped cream, which okay. is a lot of work. So hopefully we get our arm workouts through this. We go ahead and start that. All right. And Marcus had a pro tip for us. He chilled the whisk in this big container. Mm -hmm. um, before we started to make the whipped cream, sort of, what does that do? So it just makes it um, everything a lot colder, obviously, because it's put in the fridge, which will help it mix quicker and inform the peaks that you're looking for. Um, whenever it's really cold, it just makes it better. Yes. Okay, so if you're making whipped cream, yeah. you want to chill your Chill your utensils. Stuff. Okay. Uh, metal bowls work a lot better. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add, this is about 14 ounces of milk, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla, and about four ounces of sugar. If you have a hand mixer, use a hand mixer. This is really strenuous. Um, so basically what we're going to do is just start whisking. So maybe, I mean, this is good. Like, if you're about to eat chocolate mousse anyways, it's a dessert. You might as well just sort of get a, an arm workout in, right? Yeah, I guess. Um, what you need to do is basically, like I said, stay positive. Because stay if positive. you get discouraged while doing this, uh, you're going to get exhausted, and you're going to lose track of what you're doing, and it's not going to be done anytime soon. So basically what you got to do is just keep whisking. It's very loud, unfortunately. Um, so you can either buy whipped cream at the store and make it a lot easier, or like I said, use a hand maker. It's a lot quicker. So how long do you typically recommend whisking for? So I would say about four and a half minutes if it's not cold. But since we chilled everything, we're using really cold ingredients. Hopefully it's going to whip. Uh, whisk up faster. It's already starting to thicken. And once it thickens, what we're going to do is we're going to fold half of it into our chocolate mixture. Okay. And then we're going to mix that really well and then add the rest. Is there a texture that we're looking for? Um, basically, the texture of whipped cream. Do you want to see the, the peaks of it get kind of stiff? And after that, it's just not quite but it's going to get there. Okay, it's going to get there. It's going to get there. Do you want there. me to take over for a little while? If you want to take over for a little while, I'll hold okay. this part and you can just... Oh, okay, cool. How am I doing? Uh, go a little bit faster. Faster? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like I said, it's a lot of noise, okay. but it's worth it. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this for a little while. We're going to pour it into our chocolate, and when we come back, we'll have your final steps for making chocolate mousse this morning. Gosh, hopefully this goes quicker. Um, but yeah, we'll check in with you in a little bit. Stay with us right here on GMA, but before that, we're going to send it back.